activism and politics have gone mainstream. The president of the United States sells merchandise. So you see a lot of people stepping out of their primary fields into politics because they can monetize it. Arena and I just talked about this. There are so many people who are now chiming in in the ninth inning on this election and sitting here having conversations, speaking on a whole group of people about a political, about different political agendas without consulting with the people who are very disconnected from the everyday people who are not in the upper tax bracket that have to go to work every day, going out, making decisions and speaking on behalf of all the people saying, I, I got it. I want to talk on behalf of all the brown people in America. I want to talk about on behalf of all the black people. This is what we need. But I'm in an upper, I'm in a tax bracket where I can't relate to, I haven't been able to relate to you going to work every day, the, the, how much it costs for you to live where you live, how much money you're making, what a decent human wage is. We, I don't know nothing about your health care because I've had the top health care for years. And now I'm spe speak, stepping into the political realm, getting paid to speak at rallies and speak on behalf of a whole group of people and making money doing it. How do you feel about that? Because you always talk about this toxic capitalism in this country. And uh, you see what's happening right now where shit, even Lil Wayne jumped in uh, yesterday. The Lil Wayne thing is like, to me, hilarious. Um, I'm a big proponent to a lot of my progressive friends disdain. I'm a big proponent of, I like to separate art from the artist. Uh, my mom knows I. I fight with my little sister about this all the time. Like to me, I feel like you miss out on a lot of great art that was produced. If you start thinking about the kind of person they were and all this stuff, like it's easy personally for me to be like, you know what? I don't like this guy, but he still made some good songs, you know? <laughs> like, so, but the little Wayne thing, I just think it's, it's funny, man. I mean, you always taught me just consider the source, man. I mean, Lil Wayne been rich since he was 14, 15 years old. he has been rich. I mean, he can't relate not only to the black community, but about to like 80% of the United States of America. How many, even the rich folks, how many of them been rich since they was 15 years old? Even Bezos wasn't rich until much later in his life. Like he been disconnected. He was disconnected from being a teenager. I mean, it's the same issue, you know, Michael Jackson had, or even uh, Justin Bieber had. It's like, they've been rich usher. They've been rich forever. So they're not necessarily going to know, just like you said, exactly what it takes on a day-to-day -day basis to get to the next day. Um, the Lil Wayne thing, I just think is just funny. It's just super funny. He's been disconnected from a lot of Americans, not even just blacks, not even just poor people. He'd been disconnected since he was 15 years old. He'd been rich and taken care of by Birdman and the whole camp, private jets here. Uh, yeah, yeah, Leah, I, I, I said your exact point, uh, Biden and Bernie are totally different throughout their whole legacies. Um, but anytime like a rapper, me and my friend Aaron were laughing about this the other day. It's like, anytime a rapper stands for the black community, I don't know how, I don't even know black people that get upset about it personally anymore. Cause it's like, Ice Cube don't speak for the black community, man. 50 Cent don't speak for the black community, man. They're really rich guys who, you know, hit the lottery. Um, and to be honest, it's it's getting harder and harder for me as somebody who likes rap. And I hope this isn't too incendiary, but it's getting harder and harder for me to look out into the crowds of rap concerts and see black people. So, I mean, their fan base ain't even the people necessarily that, you know, are paying to see these people like Lil Wayne was really hot in 2010. It's 2020, man. And Lil Wayne's best contribution to the rap game currently is another rapper. It's Drake. So, I mean. Woo. Oh, you said. You, you, I mean, they don't speak for these people, man. Drake is from Canada. And Drake speaks up on these black issues. He relates better to us. He wasn't rich when he was 15. He was on that show, Degrassi, making 50K a year, talking about how it was a struggle for him. So, I mean, even how unrelatable Drake feels, he relates more closer to people than Lil Wayne could. And I mean, and I say all of this, my mom will back me up. 
knowing almost all Lil Wayne songs and I love his music. I just, I could just separate the two. But I mean, that being said, nobody speaks for the whole everybody. I can't hold Tucker Carlson responsible for all the white folk either. Because I know a lot of cool white people who are nothing like that. It's just it's just the same thing. I just don't know why rappers and athletes. Actually, I do know why. You know, it's fundamental institutionalized racism. But it's like LeBron don't speak for me, dude. LeBron and me have much different points of view. LeBron has been a superstar, famous in his hometown, famous almost nationwide and then worldwide since that boy was 17 years old. I, me and him have very little in common aside from our skin color. And that's easy for me to say. And for some people, that's difficult. You know, I, I will relate. Honest to God, I relate to the white guy who works at Whole Foods as a grocery store clerk closer than I do LeBron, even though we the same skin color. There's a lot of things that we do suffer as black people. But the class structure in the United States is so nasty and works in such a terrible way that these guys, they just get lost, man. And that's why you got to respect guys like J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, who just don't get lost. They remember where they came from. They remember who their fan base is or the pe- – not maybe maybe their fan base grew. Like J. Cole's fan base definitely grown, but he still remembers the people who got him to the place where he was before he could grow. And I'll always respect people like that who never really forget the roots of – the black people, the Latin people, the Asian people who built them up, man. And I just think that's awesome. I love guys like that. And even though, you know, and, and this goes both ways. I'm not the guy who's like, yeah, uh, what 50 Cent matters, what 50 Cent says doesn't matter. But what J. Cole does say matters because I agree with him. To me, they're both rappers. You know, they both live different experiences from me. I'd much rather listen to the guy who grew up in the same neighborhood I'm from who running for city council I want to hear what that guy has to say more than even J. Cole, even if I like him and what he and he agree and he aligns with my beliefs. Um, I respect that. I think it's important to listen to your generation and the Gen Zers and really uh, listen to what you're saying, because, you know, you you people, you people. So, so funny. You got the, you're the yeah. ones that are out there leading the marches and saying this is not OK. And um, I'm with you about that. You know, it's very important to me as an artist, as a stand up comedian, that I don't forget where I come from. You know, that's very important to me. I always look to, to my village when I uh, when I have an opportunity It's like, who am I taking with me? This I, this cannot be in vain. You know, that's part of the our model as a family, as a business and what we do as a family business. Um, and I also respect. I think Ice Cube's desire and and I hear his pain when he speaks. Oh, I love Cube, hundred percent. I know that was your favorite rapper. I was gonna say that was your favorite rapper. I just don't think he speaks for everybody, but yeah, I like what he's trying to do. Yeah, because I mean, as a Puerto Rican woman, I'm not salty at any of the black people in this country who are working towards making the conditions of black people better. It inspires me to want to work to do the same, and at some point. Inter- intersect so that we can work for because there are a lot of black people who are Latinos. But I also respect and understand the unique experience of black people in America who are the descendants of the slaves of America, where our journey is different. And, you know, I, I, I believe in reparations for all the, the children of all slaves. And I believe everybody should pay up.